Welcome to project 48 of this course so in this video we are going to be creating a search and highlight component kind of project by just using html css and javascript so now let's suppose if i type something in this search field like lorem for some case and if i click on this search button right here so it will now select all of these lorem text right here so we have one two three four five six seven and f right here okay and now let's suppose if i just remove there and search for like emmet so i'll just write emmet uh emmet just and if I click on search, so here you can see it will now select all of them. So now if I just uh, copy this one and paste this one right here and hit search, so here you can see it will now select all of them. So without wasting any further time, now let's jump right to our code and write our code. So first of all, let me just create a folder and I'm going to give a name of like 048 of search and highlight. Okay, and inside this folder, we are going to be creating three files like index.html and then style dot css not c sharp come on C css and let's close that extension and then finally app dot js for javascript all right so now let me just collapse this sidebar and make it a bit bigger so that we can just focus on our code so for html side of code we are going to be just writing like uh let's just change this title to like search and highlight text Okay, so now let's just write a link and link it with our CSS and also with our JavaScript as well. So now let's just collapse the sidebar, save our file, right click on it and open with the live server so that we are live. All right. So for HTML, we are going to be creating a div with the ID of search um, box. Okay, and inside the search box, we will have our input with the ID of input. And then we have is a placeholder and we'll just say like search and then we are going to be just writing a button with the id of search button okay and it will be now equals to search okay so that's that and now underneath this div we are going to be just writing or div with a class of content container and also let's just give an id of content okay and inside this container we are going to be just writing our paragraph with the id of p just for like uh text and now let's just write a few lorem like uh i don't know uh lorem 100 would be fine okay oh you know what let me just undo it instead of lorem 100 i'll just write lorem and hit control space and enter and now let's just duplicate a few times right here save our file and this is how it looks like all right so now let's just jump right into our css and now let's just format that a bit so the first thing i would do is i'll select everything and i'll just write a margin padding Come on, padding will be zero, and then box sizing will be border box. And now let's just select our body. And here we are going to be providing a width of 100% and min height of 100 v edge. And then display will be flex because we want everything to be center. Justify corner will be center, and flex direction will be column, and align items will be also center. And now let's just provide a little bit of padding top on 30 pixel and background will be just rgb of 4 4 and then just write 19 on it and sell file and this is how it looks like here you can see we have this text right here and this is our search bar so everything is now center because we just style our body the next thing i would do is i will grab this search uh, id right here search box to be precise so now let me just write that search box and now let's just format that width will be like 50 percent in this case height will be 50 pixel and now here let's just write like display of flex flex flow not grow flex flow will be just like row and no wrap because it, we don't want it to be wrapped the next thing we would do is that we would select this input which is inside the search box so now let's just select that so we're going to be selecting that by the id and now let's just give a width of 80 percent Okay, and now let's just provide a border will be none and outline will be also none and padding will be 10 pixel top and bottom and 20 pixel from left and right for font size will be 20 pixel seven and this is how it looks like right now the next thing we would do is like let's just style this button really quickly so for that we are going to be selecting this button right here which is this search button so now let's just select that like search uh search button and now let's just write or padding of like 10 pixel top and bottom 20 pixel left and right margin left will be 10 pixel not top <laughs> 10 pixel <laughs> border will be none and now let's just write a background of crimson and you can choose whichever kind of color you like because i want the button to be attractive 
and the focal point of this project so that's why i provide a like a red or crimson color so save it and this is how it looks like and you can also change the font weight if you want to let's just try to bold and it's now bold okay so that's that then now the next thing which you have to do is to select or this content container so now let me just select there like content container okay inside this content container let's just give a width of 90 percent color will be totally white and now let's just give a font size of like uh i don't know 20 pixel will be fine and padding font will be also 20 pixel pixel and now let's just write text align will be just justify and max width will be 700 pixel and now let's just add a margin top of 20 pixels save it and this is how our text is look like and now if you want to change like the font family so you can also change that if you want to font family will be sans serif or you can import your own if you want to lastly we are going to be writing a class for javascript so this class will be for java it's not a class but it's just an attribute which allows us to just highlight or color not attribute it is a tag so now let's just change the color of it to like crimson so whenever if we search something in it and if you hit search so it will just change that color that background color to this crimson color okay so that's that and now we are done with that so now let's suppose if i want to just select like um this uh you know what let's suppose if i want to select this lorem ipsum so i'll just wrap that in mark okay let me, let me just try to mark mark and now let's just copy this lorem ipsum from there and paste it right here and now here you can see it will now select it to this lorem ipsum if you want to change the color of it to like uh from crimson to yellow like yellow so you can also do that and here you can see it will now just mark it right here so that's then now let me just write it to crimson and now let's just undo it one more time and remove that mark from there okay so now we are good all right so now the next thing which you have to do is now we have to just write a little bit of javascript and then we are going to be done so the first thing we will need is our paragraph so now let's just get our paragraph like which is this p right here and we give a class not a class but id of p right here and now the next thing which we have to do is to get our search button so now once we click on that search button so we want to provide the tag name of mark so get element by id it will be now equal to this search button right here and now let's just select our search button add let me just write add event listener and it will be now set to click and it will be now equals to this function and inside this function we are going to be first of all selecting our input and it will input will be now equals to get element by id and now you want to get our input and its value so if you just log this to a console like input right here save everything and we open our developer tools and if you write like something um i want to do <laughs> or just something would be fine and if i click on that so here you can see it will now gives us this value right here because we are getting a value right now all right so that's that if we now just remove that and now here we have to just do a little bit of check like if input and now we are just checking the value of this input if input value is not equals to not equals to this uh empty string so you want to do this like let uh regex and now if you guys don't know about regular expressions so don't swear i'm thinking of making a course on that if that's not a course so it will definitely be a full guide or something like a video like a huge long video so i guess by the time you're watching this video so you will have access to that regular expression video as well and i'll already created that and i'll already upload it there but if not so you can also just quickly google search like what is a regex or regular expression in javascript it will also tell you that <laughs> a lot of talking all right so now let's just write our new reg exp okay and here we just have to put our input and gi right here okay so that's that now let's just change the p inner html to this p dot text content dot replace it with this reg exp and then now let's just re replace it with this mark tag which we selected right here okay so now i'm going to just write like mark and now here let me just close it one more time like mark and now we are good to go and here inside as a content we are going to be first of all writing a dollar sign and the end symbol 
okay so once we save it now let me just search for something like i don't know if i want to search for this um this uh, word so now let me just copy that paste word here search for it so don't now just found it three times because we just duplicate this lorem ipsum three times so if you want to just search for this lorem ipsum so it also gives us like not three times but four times if we search for that so here you can see we have this lorem ipsum one two three and four right here okay so this is how we can work with that all right so now let's suppose if i want to just select this anchor tag not anchor tag but just a let me just search for this a and it will now select all of these a right here okay so i guess that was it about for this project so now if you guys don't know about get and github so feel free to skip this video and jump right into the next one and if you guys do know about get and github and want to push your code into your github repository so this is what i'm going to do right now okay so now we are working on a o 48 project so here let me just clear things out and here let me just write like get status and we are on uh, o 48 so now let me just write everything get commit dash m and now let's just add like uh commit of i don't know search and rip not replace but highlight uh text and hit if i hit enter and now let's just push it into uh or origin master not master but man it used to be a master but now it's man and now let's just refresh your browser and now you get like 048 and now here you can see we are getting this 048 right here okay and now here you can see we have this index.html uh index app.js code right here and then index.html a file and inside this we have all of this code and then we have this standard css and we have all of its code right here all right so i guess that was it about today's video and i'll see you in the next video bye bye